What's up guys, Retro Gamer Gen X here, and in today's video we're going to be playing Hero on the Sega SG-1000. Uh, this is actually a really good port of this game. I actually kind of dig this port. Uh, not too bad at all. So let's go ahead and get it started here, guys. Now the, the actual mazes or the actual gameplay of the uh, game is really the same as the 2600. It's just the graphics that are changed. Uh, obviously, we know that this is a Z80 processor that's running this, so it kind of gives it more of that arcade -y feeling to it, I guess. Uh, so we're just going to zip through these first few levels here. These first ones are pretty easy, guys. Now, if you guys have never played this, uh, Hero was released in 1984 by Activision um, on several different consoles. Um... The 2600 I know it was on, the 5200 I know it was on, it was on the, uh, the Commodore 64, it was on the Atari 8-bit line. I mean, you name it, this was on pretty much everything. And in fact, I believe even the Amiga had a level editor for this game, so you could actually create your own levels and play them on the Amiga or something. If I remember right, I could be wrong. It uh, could be a different computer, but... Uh, definitely really cool. So what this game entails is that you're just a hero, which stands for Helicopter Emergency Response Operator, I want to say. I could be wrong on that, guys. It's been a long time since I've actually looked at what, this, what the acronym stand for. But uh, definitely, you're just going around, you're trying to save people out of these mines uh, that are trapped in them. And just avoid all the weird crap that you run into. Spiders and bats and... It's just... Um, I knew I was going to die there. But uh, yeah, really cool game, guys. So if you haven't played this before, I would suggest playing it. Probably the cheapest and easiest way to get a hold of this is on the 2600. Um, now obviously this is on the SG-1000, so the graphics are a lot better I think of course I just died the graphics are a lot better on this game than they are say on the Atari man I just keep dying let's see if I die again here all right there we go now the funny thing about this is that instead of the helicopter he's actually got a jetpack in this game so I find that kind of funny all right so, oh, and then look, it's a different kind of character I'm saving this time. So it looks like the characters change. Oh, how cute. A little heart. Oh. Yeah, definitely different than the 2600 version. But like I said, really, the mazes are all the same. The actual levels themselves, I should say. Not really mazes, but. <laughs> so all that's really the same. So if you've got that down in memory, you should be able to play this game fairly easy on the SG-1000. It's kind of weird. I'm used to playing it on the uh, Atari 2600, so I'm only used to playing with one button, so having two buttons and actually having a button to put down the dynamite is a little bit different. It's hard to get used to. <laughs> ah, I knew it. I was going to die there. So I'm down to my last life already, guys. This is horrible. I do much better on this game, actually. We'll see. If we have to run through it again one more time, we'll just do that. But yeah, definitely a really cool game. If you guys haven't checked this out, I would definitely check this out. This is one of one of Activision's first, well, I can't say first, but one of their first big blockbuster games uh, besides the Pitfall series. Um, of course, they came out with a ton of different games. But those two were probably the epitome of Activision. I mean, you know, they had River Raid and a whole bunch of other different games back in the day, too. But these were the ones that kind of made Activision what they are today. The big company they are today, I should say. This is what started it all. All right, guys. So we're just mashing through this level. Come on. I'm going to try to mash through this level. Alright, so every 20,000 points you get an extra live as well, guys. So that's kind of cool. So we can kind of build up our lives as long as I don't start dying here again. 
That was crazy. That's how this game goes, though. It's like, you don't die, you don't die, you do really good, and then all of a sudden, like, you die, like, three times in a row. <laughs> and you're like, what the hell just happened? Oh, I don't like this. Ah. Oh, I definitely don't like this. Oh, no. How am I going to do this? Because if I put this down, I'm not going to be able to f float up. Oh, I knew it. Yep. Dead. Dead. So, let's go ahead and run through it one more time, guys. Obviously, this is not going to be a playthrough because this is more like an arcade type of game. Uh, there's not really an end to Hero. I think there's 20... I want to say 21 levels. And then after that, it basically flips over is what it does. So, let's go ahead and try one more time here, guys. Alright, let's see if we can get any further. What level was I on? Like 5 or something? That was ridiculous. On the uh, Atari 2600 version, I have no problem getting to like level 20. <laughs> no problems. This this is a little different. Um, now, like I said, the, the patterns, the, the uh, levels are all the same. The graphics are a little bit different. And the actual like... The feel of the gameplay is a little bit different too. And like I said, he doesn't have that helicopter either. It's actually a jetpack in this game, which is weird that it's still called Hero because you would think it would change the name of it like to Jetpack Emergency Response Operator or whatever the hell the name of that's supposed to be. <laughs> All right, so now what are we on? Level three. Let's see if we can get any further here, guys. Yeah, this is just a great game. I've always loved this. I remember playing this for the first time way back on the 80s. Um, on the Atari 2600. And man, this game was just so great, guys. I just loved it so much. And unfortunately, we didn't own it. It was actually a friend's copy that he let me borrow. And I had to give it back to him. Uh, kind of like uh, Pitfall 2. We never owned Pitfall 2 either. Uh, we actually borrowed that from one of my sister's friends and played that. It wasn't until years later when I started retro collecting that I actually obtained these games. Oh, uh, here's that one. I don't know how we're going to do this. Let's see. Go up. See. I think you just got to turn your back. I think in this version, if you turn your back, the dynamite won't kill you. So I'm going to try that on those next ones like that. Cause really, that's all that's killing me are those little tight spots where I got to put dynamite down. I'm killing myself with freaking dynamite. So anyway, guys, what is your opinion of this game? Do you guys like the hero or this kind of franchise like this? Or uh, are you a Pitfall fan? Are you just not a fan of Activision games at all from back in this period? Or Activision at all nowadays? Uh, let me know down in the comments. Let me know what you think here. Um... Like I said, I honestly love these games. Uh, all of Activision's games from back in these days um, are just amazing. Uh, they had the top tier of top tier game programmers back then, basically. So uh, David Crane and a few others that I can't just think of off the top of my head, but just amazing programmers for the time. Okay, here we go with this again. So I'll turn my back. There we go. So I think that's the thing. You just got to be kind of far away and be able to turn your back. Um, oh, that sucks. I hate hitting the lanterns. You hit the lanterns, it turns off the light. Not that big of a deal, as long as you know where you're going. Uh, let's see. We're going to try this again. Go down here. As long as you got your back turned to it, I think you're okay. I could be wrong, though. We'll, we'll test that theory out when we get to like the the further ones. Once further in the levels, I should say. Ah, that one. Every time. Now, on the Atari, I know to kind of wait before I go down. But in this one, the graphics are... See, it still killed me even though I had my back turned, guys. So there, are two lives just like that. Boom. So we got to Act 6. Now we're to Act 7. So level 7. And... Yeah... I don't think I'm going to get another life here. Yeah, see, I got my back turned. I was fine that time, so I don't know. I, honestly, I think it just kills you whenever it wants to kill you. <laughs> so, 
let's see here. Well, I think we got this far at least the last time, right, guys? Pretty sure we did. I don't know. I can't remember. Uh, there we go. Yeah, see, my back was turned. So I just, I'm just going to have to remember that to have my back turned when I do the dynamite. Oh yeah, see, we did get this far. I'm pretty sure we did. Which is funny because to me, this is not very far at all. I'm used to getting to at least, like on my first try, to at least get into like level 16, if not up to 20 on the Atari version. So, <laughs> definitely funny to see me uh, kind of struggling here. But different versions of games, I mean, it is different, definitely different. Like, uh, I'm really good at uh, Pitfall 2. Oh, here's that one again, guys. Let's see. Yeah, even if I turn my back, I died. So that's just too, too close a quarters. I guess on this one, you kind of have to come down the other way. I don't know how that's going to work. It's a little different than the Atari version, maybe. Uh, I'm not liking this. Where are we going here? Oh no, we're right. Okay. Whoa, I almost got bit in the head by that snake. Did you just gotta see that? Wow. That came close. I don't know if I like the jetpack or if I like the helicopter better. The jetpack seems to be a little bit more responsive. Ah! Yeah, and then I just died, of course. But the jetpack seems to be a little bit more responsive as opposed to, say, uh the helicopter on the 2600 version or the other versions I've played so but anyway guys that's about it that's hero on the SG 1000 I just wanted to show you guys this um, I do like the graphics on this game I think they're they're excellent they're almost arcade quality graphics for back when this game actually came out um, so really not too bad but it's that whole Z80 thing you know a lot of the arcade machines especially the uh, the Sega uh, arcade machines that the SG-1000 was basically based off of um, ran off the Z80 and uh, they just had these kind of quality type of graphics like this. So it doesn't surprise me that, you know, <laughs> a game system from 1984 is just kicking the 2600s butt. But honestly, even like the, um, if you play this on the C64, the Commodore 64, um, this looks better than that version does too, I think. Uh, the C64 version, I think, just has way too much going on on the screen. But, and just my opinion. Well, anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I'm going to get out of here. You guys have a great one. Peace out. Game over, man. It's game over.